So let's talk about Xbox Game Pass. There's a lot of people that has a different type of outlook about this. You have people that are angry. You also have people that are really excited about this news. You even have people out there that are thinking that the Xbox brand has gave up on them. And always my favorite, the ones that are plotting to make the new narrative to say something bad about it. Xbox and to always move the goalpost. But it doesn't matter which one that you are. I don't think anybody's seen this coming. And as being a gamer for a long time, and I can speak for people like Hebot and Microbox of X and E-Rock and, and just countless other gamers that's been in the game, Fonzo Rally, there's so many other gamers that's been, been here from the very beginning in, in the uh, Atari era. We, I can't, ex I haven't, I wasn't expecting this to come down like this with gaming. Like where gaming is a, like a Netflix service. And it's not saying so much if it's a bad thing. I think it's more of a gamers have to be ready for this move. EA Access, people like it, some people don't, but it's grandfathered in now. And even though EA Access to some people doesn't give out enough content, and I can agree with that, EA Access, we were expecting a little bit more. As much as we do enjoy EA Access, you're expecting some of those old great titles like the SSX and the uh, and you know maybe fight night any of these old gems that the that ea has in their portfolio you would think that they would implement but with the game pass this is a game changer and for the older gamers out there that just look at this this is taboo this is taking gaming to a whole different plateau that they're not interested in then tough because this is something that i've been saying from a long time is that this new wave of where gaming is going, it's gonna to look totally different than what we know as gaming to be back in the days. And for newer gamers, this is this means, and for all gamers, this is more accessibility for gamers out there that don't want to, you know, don't wanna pay the money for these certain type of games, or they just don't have the, the money to buy these games. They may be interested in a Sea of Thieves or a Crackdown or a State of Decay, but they can only buy two or three, two or three games a year. And because they have other responsibilities that they wanna take care of, this right here goes out to another demographic. The core are always gonna buy the games that they wanna buy. But for the ones out there, which is they wanna call them casuals, whatever, but the people that are interested in certain games and but are not gonna go and go through the hassle of buying a game at GameStop and then taking it back and trading it in or get their money back just, just for a game that they just knew that they wasted their time on, it's ridiculous. Or even if they want to buy the game digitally and then the game is not no good. Look, this right here, you can actually find out what the game, this is like the ultimate previews uh, program really going on this, or the ultimate demo because only thing you have to do is pay 10 bucks and then you go ahead and you can play whatever game that you want however long you want to and if you don't like it you just don't like it but the benefit to this because a lot of people think this is really risky for Microsoft because of what the devs uh, you know they're putting money into these games what does this do for them on the sense of profit um, but this has a lot of potential because for certain games that had a lot of potential a lot of people didn't play them maybe because of the lack of advertisement bad press uh, just the fact that they just didn't have an Xbox at that time They could go back and they could play those games with no problem and for the new games that's coming out You know the diehards are going to play these games and for if you think about all three games that's coming out See if these is not a single-player experience where you're just gonna play it and beat it just to get achievements and then you're done This is a game that you're gonna have to be invested in same with State of Decay same with Crackdown 3's multiplayer these games will have more access to the public than they've ever been before for the fact that they would be included into the Game Pass. It's a win-win in my opinion. Also, I don't think a lot of people has brought up this factor about net neutrality. We don't know what's coming down the line. That's still an uh, issue that's going to be coming up at sometime this year. And if income isn't as disposable and, a, and all these games are coming out, People just ain't going to have the money to just be buying games, especially if they got to pay for other services just to have certain things that they want off the Internet. And lastly, third party. Could third party actually want to jump in on this if this Game Pass thing is successful for the exclusives of Xbox? Just think about this hypothetically. I know this ain't going to happen, but just think about it. Dragon Ball Z Fighters and Monster Hunter is coming out. You can only afford one. 
but one of the other games is on the game pass so you can get the game that you wanted and you can also play it because you have game pass i see a lot of potential in this but i like to hear your thoughts about this also this is just great for the gamers this is great customers in the studio trying to calm your soul looking at your man i think chris a guy man i'll put you in the trunk with these souls